Welcome back. I say welcome back because success in this course requires that you first complete the InCopy Fundamentals course. If you haven't yet completed InCopy CC Fundamentals, also with me, please do that before continuing with this building on the Fundamentals course. In InCopy CC Fundamentals, we got familiar with InCopy before diving deep into the most important aspect of a professional word processing tool, writing. We learned how to create new content, edit existing documents, including checking stories in and out, writing in story galley and layout views, dealing with overset text, inserting a variety of accented and custom characters, glyphs, and spaces, spell checking, customizing hyphenation rules, and using the built-in thesaurus. Next, we talked about working with others, collaborating with writers, editors, and designers locally and remotely, including those team members using Microsoft Word and Adobe InDesign, reviewing and tracking changes, approving and rejecting changes, communicating through in-content notes, identifying yourself and team members, and importing and exporting Word and RTF documents were all part of the collaboration discussion. In InCopy CC, building on the fundamentals, we're picking up right where we left off. This builds on the writing and collaborating skills you've already learned to flesh out your stories and documents with styling and formatting. By the end of this course, you'll be able to style the text, tabs, tables, and even images in your documents, whether those are standalone documents you'll output from InCopy directly or send on to production personnel working in InDesign. You'll learn how to save and reapply formatting with styles and templates, which is an introduction to the topic of productivity and saving time in InCopy. We'll flesh out that topic with all the power InCopy holds to help you write and edit efficiently in the tool. I'll show you how to set up a text replacement shorthand using text macros, how to use text variables to insert repetitive, volatile, or dynamic text, to search and replace not just plain text, but also formatted text, styles, special characters, glyphs, and wildcards, and to use grep to find and change by pattern. Then I'll show you how to save and instantly recall even the most complicated find change sequence. This course is about revealing the power of InCopy, so let's get to it.